Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Prince TV. I'm Captain Collins. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, May 6, 2024. Now let's go to Hadassah for today in history. Thank you, Catherine. Action Patriots. Today in history, on May 4, 1959, the first Grammy Awards were given by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Science in Los Angeles. There were 28 awards being given out at the time. Ella Fitzgerald and Frank Sinatra were among the first people to receive them. Over time, there have been many more Grammy Awards given for different music genres, like rock and roll, country, and even poems. Today's Grammys are still being handed out to people like Beyonce, Billie Eilish, and more. Acting is my thing, but who knows, maybe one day I'll get a Grammy. Now let's go to Elia for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets, beef meatball, turkey and cheese deluxe hoagie, garden side salad, mashed potatoes, cucumber, ranch dressing, mandarin oranges, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is egg and cheese breakfast burrito, frosted cornflakes, graham crackers, fresh orange, and your choice of milk. Students, please note that the lunch menu can change at any time, and don't forget to inform your teachers if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Elia. That sounds delicious. Tomorrow, 3rd through 4th graders will have the chance to go to the pastry store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, please remember to keep your phone shut down and your backpacks at all times. And there is no trouble gum in school. Please spit it out for entering the building. And you can only wear a school jacket or a sweater. If you want a yearbook of yourself and the rest of your class, then go to myschoolbooks.com. It's $45. Today, second girls will have their star reading test. Tomorrow, first girls will have their star reading test. And fourth grade, we're taking their fast reading test. Do your best and don't forget to rest. Good luck. I hope you remembered your rewards for the challenge. You don't? Well, I'll remind you. K through second will have fun with pajamas and pancakes. While third through eighth will have fun games outside. Get your lessons done today. And for our sports fans, yesterday our girls flag football team had a game against Lamboca. Let's find out the results. Welcome back to Sports Patriots. On Thursday, our girls black football had a game against Lamboga. Sadly, we lost the game 20 to 17. The players that put the most effort were Skyla and Megan, and thanks to Josiah for getting eight black bulls during the game. I know you guys will win at your last game. See you next time on Sports Patriots. Bye. Thank you for the port, Jasmine. Let's go Camilo for today's weather. Thank you, Catherine. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is 85 degrees fan out with partly cloudy skies. It's a good day to go to the beach. Another weather news. Did you know that picking up a desert turtle is not only illegal, but it is also dangerous for the turtle? When you pick up a desert turtle, it gets startled, and when it gets startled, it responds by emptying its bladder and not just a little bit. It lets out a year's worth of urine. The reason it empties its bladder is to repel predators by the smell of the urine. So if you ever see a desert turtle, don't pick it up because you'll end up harming it, and you'll smell like urine too. P.U. Now, so sorry, Pizza's happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camila. Today's birthday boys and girls are Sharon Buhanda and Julian Adite. Happy birthday. Now, let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents presenting yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the schools around respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Carter, Ms. Arnold, and Ms. Valdez for getting the correct answer to Friday's Day Challenge, which was... What do you call an illegally parked frog? The correct answer was toad. Not for today's day challenge. Daily challenge. What is the name of the biggest moon of Jupiter? Teachers, please hear your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. and more free answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at RPT would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. Have a great day.